ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to part three of this three-part tutorial on modeling, texturing, and animating realistic trees in the Blender game engine. This step is on animating. So we're going to set origin to the geometry. Uh, I'm going to make these their own individual trees. And set origin to geometry. Set origin to geometry. Uh, set origin to geometry. We're going to go ahead and start making our armatures. So, to make an armature for a tree, it's really quite simple. You're going to select the bottom of the tree, add your cursor there, add a bone there, and head into edit mode, grab this bone, bring it to the very, very top, and subdivide it. And that's, that's it. That's, that's literally it. Okay. Step two, copy it, and bring it over. Now what we can do is grab both of these trees here, or the leaves in the trees, and go ahead and control P, automatic weights. Control P with automatic weights. Now we can go ahead and do is switch these over to stick and x-ray. X-ray, and we're going to go ahead and create some uh, animations with this. So, let's over to animation, and uh, we'll go into uh, key frame editor or action editor, uh, and select uh, our armature. Make sure we're in pose mode. So, if I grab this and rotate it, you can see uh, automatic weights has done a pretty good job. So what I'm going to do is add um, a, so our, our, let's see, our frame rate, let's change this to 30, so 30 frames per second. Uh, so I'm going to add a, like a three second, uh, maybe five second um, play time, so it's going to be 150 frames. So we're going to start here, end at 150, and uh, we want the um, location of the beginning and the location, or the keyframe at the end of the, the beginning be the same. So we're going to go ahead and select our bones and create a uh, lock rod scale. We're going to head to 150. And lock rod scale. I'm actually going to move this one over to zero. Uh, so it's just before. Okay. What we can do is right in the middle of that 150, which is going to be a cool 75. Uh, we're going to do a little sway. So all we're going to do is rotate this ever so slightly on the x-axis. Like so. Now if we play this, you can see it's just as if the tree is slowly swaying in the wind. Okay. So we'll go ahead and call this Pine Action. We can save it. And go ahead and grab. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually delete this uh, keyframe, or sorry, this armature. And grab this one. Bring it right over because it's the same animation. So we'll go ahead and grab all these. And control P, automatic weights. And I bet you, if I play this, this oak action right here, it'll look pretty damn decent. It's very subtle, but honestly, that's all you need. You don't want too much movement. Too much movement looks a little unrealistic. Even this is a little much. But uh, you can see the leaves aren't moving much. So, what I'm going to do over to the leaves, grab them, and we can try uh, bone even failed. Okay, so what we can do is head over to the object mode here. Uh, or sorry, it's not this one, it is uh, I could have sworn aha, bone group. Okay. Nope. That's why I don't have the leaves selected. Okay. 
Under here in the vertex information uh, or mesh data, uh, you have your bones. So what we want to do is we want to uh, select. So see, if we select either of these, no leaves are assigned. So we'll go ahead and assign that and assign that. Now, if I go ahead and play this, this might be a little drastic, but uh, no, you can see it's not too bad. The leaves are actually getting affected now. And these guys, leaves should be getting affected as well. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. Okay. Now what we can go ahead and do is uh, do some game logic for these. So let's go ahead to default, and I'm going to bring up a logic editor. And we just want it so that there's an always sensor. Uh, always uh, doing the action, uh, pine action from 1 to 150, and it's going to loop end. Uh, perfect. So, we can go ahead and do the exact same thing over here. Always action oak action one to one fifty. Okay, now if we go ahead and press play, we've got some really nice looking trees there. The only issue is we want to switch these over to alpha clip, and that's it. After that, we've got some really nice looking trees that uh, sway in the wind. So you combine these with some nice looking terrain and the rocks that we made in our previous tutorial, and you've got a really nice looking setting. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.